All right, guys, today we're taking a deep dive into the 2025 Asus TUF F16 gaming laptop packing Intel's Core i7-4650HX and RTX 5060 with 8GB VRAM and a gorgeous 16-inch WUXGA 165Hz display. The TUF series has always been about delivering solid performance without breaking the bank, but has Asus finally nailed the perfect mid-range gaming and productivity machine for 2025? Let's find out. First, quick specs. CPU, Intel Core, E7-4650HX, 14 cores, 20 threads, boosting up to 5.2 GHz. GPU, NVIDIA GeForce, RTX 5060, 8GB GDDR6VR AM with DLSS, 3.5 and AI acceleration RAM. 16 gigabytes DDR5 at 5,600 megahertz, upgradable. Storage, one terabyte PCIe Gen 4. SSD display, 16 inch W, UXGA, 1920 by 1200, 100 ha 65 hertz refresh rate, 100% sRGB coverage weight, around 2.3 kilograms OS, Windows 11 home. The chassis is Jaeger Gray with that rugged TUFM ILSTD 810 H durability certification. Feels solid, no flex in the keyboard deck, and the hinge is firm but smooth, you can open it one handed. Definitely more refined compared to older TUF designs. This is where Asus really stepped up. The 16 inch WXGA panel has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, making it fantastic not only for gaming, but also for editing, coding, or general productivity. 165 hertz refresh rate means buttery smooth gameplay and brightness hits around 350 nets, which is fine indoors and decent outdoors. Color reproduction is solid at 100% sRGB and response times are quick enough for competitive shooters like Valorant or Apex. On the left side, you've got 2X USB-C, one with Thunderbolt 4, one with DP 1.4 plus charging, HDMI 2.12, X USB A 3.2, Gen 1 RJ45 Ethernet port, headphone mic combo jack. On the right, just one USB, so most of your main connections stay out of the way if you're right handed. Wi Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 are standard here. This is where the TUFF 16 flexes. That is 714650H paired with the RTX 5060 is a killer combo for 1080p and 1440p gaming. In my testing, gaming benchmarks, high settings, Cyberpunk 2077, RT Medium plus DLSS balanced, 82 FPS Apex Legends 165 FPS Locked Hogwarts Legacy Ultra, 78 FPS Baldur's Gate 3 Ultra, 95 FPS. For productivity, Cinebench R, 23 hits around 21,500 in multi-core and 2,050 in single-core, putting it right up there with other high-end HX chips. Blender renders are noticeably faster than older i7 models, and AI-assisted workflows in apps like Adobe Premiere run smoothly thanks to NVIDIA's Tensor Cores. Cooling has improved. Asus uses a dual fan system with 84 blade arc flow fans, liquid metal on the CPU, and multiple exhaust vents. Under load, the CPU hovers around 85 degrees Celsius and the GPU around 78 degrees Celsius. The fans get audible in turbo mode, but nothing crazy for a gaming laptop and performance stays consistent even after long sessions. 90 watt hour battery here. In light use browsing, streaming, note taking, you'll get six to seven hours. In gaming, expect around 1.5 to two hours on battery, so keep the charger handy if you're going mobile. USB C charging works, but the full 200 watt brick is still faster. The keyboard feels nice 1.7 millimeter travel, tactile keys, and per key RGB lighting. The 1610 layout gives extra space for the arrow keys and number pad. The trackpad is smooth and accurate, with Windows precision drivers. Speakers are front-facing, tuned with Dolby Atmos, they're fine for casual use, but you'll want headphones for immersive gaming. The Asus 2F F16 Gaming 2025 is a rock-solid choice for gamers and creators who want serious performance 
without the premium ROG price tag. You're getting a 165Hz 16-inch display, RTX 5060 power, and an HX Series i7 in a durable, well-built chassis, all for a competitive mid-range price. If you can live with the slightly heavier build and average battery life, it's one of the best balanced laptops you can get in 2025 for both gaming and work. And that wraps up today's review of the Asus TUFF 16 2025. If you enjoyed this breakdown and found it helpful, drop a like and smash that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. Got questions or want me to compare this beast to another laptop? Let me know down in the comments. Until next time, stay sharp, game hard, and I'll catch you in the next one.